Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and it is cast time once again. Um, and let me um, let me get this window out of here real quick. Um, I'm gonna start. Yeah, get rid of that. So just cutting out some windows here for a moment. Uh, okay, I think that should do it. All right, but anyway, um, welcome aboard everybody, and um, let me go ahead and intro this real quick. Now, this is um. Uh, which is, this video here was pretty much the result of a coin flip. Um, I'm kind of, I'm getting burned out of doing city drives, but then again, I haven't really found any, uh, I haven't really found any music worth, uh, worth playing on, on these cast videos. There was a, there was like a brand new, uh, dark gothic chant video that I wanted to play, but when I started it up, I'm like, eh, maybe not. So, but then, um, I fired up, a uh, Fired up one of these, and even then I'm like, eh, not interested. So, so like I said, this uh, this here, uh, it's gonna be a drive in Edina, Minnesota. It's a place I've never ever been to. Um, but uh, probably the thing here is uh, I've got a, I've got a fair amount to talk about, and I've got a fair amount of visuals as well. So, you may not be seeing a whole lot of the city. So it's not a really good fit, but like I said, it, it just I couldn't really think of anything else. So, so this one it is. Okay, so so to start with, um, my usual pinball stream. This time around, it went fucking great. Oh my god, just a total stark contrast to yesterday. Oh God! But uh, yesterday, um, my God. But yeah, in FX3, um, just did pretty good. Um, I think I took first place in like, like uh, one or two tournaments. Um, all the rest of them, I think. Um, nothing to think about. I think I was pretty much all over the place. I got um. Uh, oh, I gotta do something. I gotta, I gotta turn off my AC. Hold on. That's gonna get distracting. Anyway, but um, but as far as uh, all the rest of the tournaments, um, uh, it was pretty much win some, lose some. Um, I ranked high in some of them. Um, I ranked ranked pretty low in some others. So, but overall, good performance. So, some good pinball. Um, uh, but um, pinball arcade though, I freaking kicked ass. Again, another stark contrast to yesterday where I think I lasted, no, no, a couple of days ago where I did so god awful bad that I had, I had to actually abandon the session like five, ten minutes in and go, go straight to Zachariah, but, but yeah, not this time, yeah, but, um, I actually, in a, I actually beat a high score in my all time favorite table, TX Sector. So it, it it's a and uh it was a high score that I hadn't been able to beat in I probably years. Cause uh I think um I kicked ass on it maybe once or twice some odd years ago, but that was it. And from there on after, I'd be lucky to have broken maybe one or two million on it. And that's with playing four players. I mean, I mean on that table there the ball drains super quick so but in all in all the other tables though that I played on there um I did really good so um and I guess another fact another um another standard I've been going by is uh this is a three hour session so I, I only played um I only played uh FX3 and Arcade I never played any Zachariah so, like I said, three hours, so averaged out, I am I played probably about an hour and a half on each one. So, yeah, good session. Um, but, um, but something else had happened. My, uh, my Dark Ambient channel came back. Yay! Uh, because for a few weeks, it, it just disappeared. It's, uh, dark ambient music, it's the kind, it's, um, 
it's something that I often have I often have in the background like when working on my blog post or you know when it's just you know good background music so but yeah but like I said for a few weeks it went bye bye like don't know what happened um oh I forgot I, I forgot to mention too that uh it's um it's a live stream channel so but yeah I just clicked out on one day and then all I got I think it said this video is no longer available or something like that um, like no you know so but it popped back up so I'm a happy guy now oh and um and another thing too um it, it actually came out about a month ago and but I keep up I up until now I keep on forgetting to mention it but they got a new Dungeon Synth live stream now, one of my all-time favorite music genres, along with Dark Ambient. So, but yeah, they got a live stream channel of it. So, so I've been pretty much been switching back and forth between those two channels now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea here. Hold on. I gotta do something else here real quick. There it is. So. Uh oh, it's freezing up. Okay, there it goes. Checking the place out. Like I said, I've never been to Edina before, so. And yay for not having those damn green bike paths in there. It got a pointless, pointless and, believe it or at least in my mind, more dangerous. Otherwise, for the most part, just sitting around, just basically sitting around watching shit. Um, when of course I'm not I'm not napping. I I'd already taken uh, two of them already, and it feels like I'm probably gonna have to get, I'm probably gonna have to take a third one as well. So, just it's been a rough week. I I I, for lack of a better word, a week. I mean, really, I only worked uh, two days, but even then. I got home, even that I get home, I come home pretty battered and beaten anyway, so, and today was no exception. So, like I said, all I was pretty much been doing just, uh, being a couch potato and then just taking, taking a couple naps. And like I said, it looks like, uh, it feels like I'm gonna have to take a third one here because I'm kind of feeling like crap. Uh, but otherwise, one thing I also noticed too that, uh, I, this, it's, uh, I heard about this about a month ago. Uh, Multiverses. It's a new. Uh, it's a new platform fighter. But it's in a. It's in its closed alpha stage right now. And uh, it's kind of unique in the fact that it's a. It's a two-on-two -two game. Which I. I'm not a really big fan of. It's a. Uh, it's team-based. Oh, excuse me. Which means uh, you're gonna have to have a sec. Which means you're gonna have to have a second player there with you, which I'm not a fan of. I don't. Now, if you could go in there like single player, and just have like a, like a CPU ally, I, I'd probably do that. But I don't. I don't want my. I don't want my. I don't want my fighting games, to be a. Oh, excuse me. Team based fighting games. Cause it just it's just gonna be it's just gonna be messy and it you know it one guy screws up and then you're if you if, if you ever played uh if you ever played MMOs or team bait you know team based games 
you know, the kind where it's everybody else's fault. I mean, you know, I've been playing, I've been playing on MMOs for over 15 years now. So, and not, you know, not really in the mood to have to listen. <laughs> tank, tank die, tank under geared. <laughs> Learn to play new over, you know. I'm not healing you, tank. You, you can't pull, you can't take a whole room of these monsters that I pulled for you, or, you know. <laughs> this person here didn't do enough DPS. Learn to play, noob. You know, kick the noob, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, I don't want to have to go through that when playing multiverses. You know, I screw up, you know, and then, you know, and then my ally, <laughs> you suck, Joe. <laughs> Delete your cut and kill yourself. You know, so... You know, it, but yeah, you know, those are, you know, those that have played MMOs know, know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, your worst opponents are your allies. You know, they're your DM teammates, and it's, you know, it's also one of the reasons why, why I like fighting games. I mean, or, I, or specifically, the one-on-one -on -one fighting games. Because if you lose, ultimately, it's your fault. It's all on you. Again, it's it's not like team-based games where it's everybody else's fault. You know, and if you, you know, when somebody messes up, you know, and your team loses, and, and here comes the blame shaman, blaming and shaman, you know, pointing the fingers. You know, it's gonna be everybody else's fault but yours, that kind of thing. You know, whereas in fighting games. Fighting games, if you lose, it's all on you. So, no one to blame but yourself. You know, so, like I said, multiverses. Um, oh, and I also forgot to mention, too. Um, I don't... Last I looked at the spec requirements, I don't think I have a computer for it. Um, at best, I could probably just barely run it. Oh, and um, this is, this is also with me streaming it, by the way. See, I, like, for those that have seen my other casts, they, you'll know that I'm the, I'm the kind of person that I don't really play games unless I can stream them. So, when I look at the spec requirements, I don't look at the minimums. I look at the recommended requirements, because, like I said, I'm going to be streaming, so I'm going to, it's going to, I'm going to have, I'm going to have a bigger resource requirement. So I, and then also now that I think about it too, pinball is the same way. There's so there's kind of a parallel there between pinball and fighting games. You know, pinball. You know, if you um if you lose, it ultimately it's on you. It's all on you. So pinball is not a team-based game. So it all falls squarely on your shoulders. So again, that's one of you know. And, and sorry to sound like a broken record, but fighting games are like that too. Team-based games, it's everybody else's fault. In fighting games, it's all your fault. I mean, I know that that probably sounds dark and negative, but but again, from somebody who's been playing MMOs for over 15 years, it's a welcome relief. You know, it's it's nice to it's nice to be. Or it's nice to have the blame be 100% legit. Um, Gems of War was like, was, or, let me, here. I'll just say Gems of War was like this too. Um, a lot of what kills you in that game is RNG. Much of it's uh, beyond your control, which I found to be very frustrating. It's one of the reasons I no longer, or probably, probably the biggest reason I no longer play it. I got tired of the, got tired of getting killed by bad RNG. Stop out. I gotta 
look something up real quick. I always thought Edina was a big city. Oh, it actually is. Okay. Oh, population. Um, 53,000. I don't see a whole lot of skyscrapers here. So I just... It's freezing up again. There it goes. Yeah, like I said, I don't see many skyscrapers here, so... I didn't think it was that big of a... Figure was, never mind. I'm having trouble finding the words right now. Oh yeah, that was that was something else I noticed about what that was one other thing I noticed about the game too. Uh Tom and Jerry's in it. It's like um It's probably one of, if not the favorite cartoon of mine, Tom and Jerry. I don't uh I think um I probably have to look into this further, but if uh if Tom and Jerry are one character, then I'm actually going to be pretty pissed about that because I don't like that period where uh, Tom and Jerry were buddies, like, in the actual cartoons, so... I think probably, if I was to ever play multiverses, one of my big requirements, as nitpicky as it might sound, is uh, Tom and Jerry have got to be separate characters. They can't be the same. So, but yeah, but for those that don't know, I think, um, starting on, I think, the 70s, uh, Tom and Jerry were actually friends. They were actually good buddies, which, that, no, they, they basically, basically took everything that was great about Tom and Jerry and fucked it up. So, but, oh, excuse me, but yeah, I gotta, I might, uh, oh, excuse me, I might look into that here in the future. Seeing how that goes. Okay, but otherwise, um, that's pretty much gonna do it for me. I don't don't really have much else. So, like I said, like I said, didn't didn't really do a whole lot today. Um, just too beat up from work. So, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. So. Thanks for tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And, um, and um, I should be able to do another one of these uh, tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye for now.